If you're in engineering, it's very easy to just put your eyes down and work and just put your blinders on and not really pay attention to the world around you. I definitely have seen some people in my engineering career thus far that have been doing this effectively for decades, almost day walking through their waking lives. And what I want you to do is to open your eyes and pay attention. Two things that I'm gonna tell you to do on this channel are pay attention and have integrity. And the paying attention part is the first step to take you from mindlessness to being mindful, which is the first part to being highly emotionally intelligent or high EQ. So why does mindfulness matter? What's mindlessness? What's mindfulness? Mindlessness is really not paying attention to things. So you're just kind of daydreaming, day walking through your existence. So you're just kind of not really paying any attention. You can do meditation, but don't let it affect your productivity. So don't turn meditation into a procrastination because I've seen that as well. And that's, again, a dysfunction that you should be trying to avoid. I'm trying to get you to pay more attention in the moment to yourself and to those around you. When it comes to EQ, there's four steps. Self-awareness, so seeing the emotions there. Self-regulation, regulating the emotion in a healthy way. Empathy, feeling as another feels. So taking on the feelings of someone else and motivation. Self-awareness is the very first step. And the reason it's the first step is because you can't regulate an emotion if you don't know that it's there or what it is. And you shouldn't be taking on the emotions of others if you aren't aware of what the emotion is, because that could lead to various dysfunctions where you're either dependent on them for positive emotions or you're dependent on them for negative emotions. That's something you kind of start circling the drain together. Neither of those is a good situation. So this self-awareness or mindfulness is something where you really just need to be paying attention to yourself. You could let this take the form of journaling at the end of your day. So journaling, trying to jot down how you felt during the day, maybe particular times you felt stronger emotions. So maybe this person said this thing or did this thing and that fired you up. Well, write that down and start to bring some awareness to that because that awareness is going to help you be able to regulate those emotions better when they do bubble up. And again, this is something that you need to have some sympathy for yourself. If you've never thought about this or you've never tried to delve into these emotions, it can be scary to start. And don't beat yourself up that you're only starting now. So you need to have some sympathy for yourself and just start. There's no better time than right now for you to start working on this and it's something that will help you in your technical career. I trust you've been paying attention to this emotional intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.